Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about Sonic. Um, I got back from it last night, so I've had some time to sort of digest my thoughts, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. It's a kid's film, so I can't exactly expect a lot from it, but I really, really enjoyed it. There's a few plot holes in it, but overall, just a lot of fun. Ben Schwartz, who was the voice of Sonic, I think did a really, really... It was a great performance with uh, the sort of kind of childish arrogance of Sonic, um, which was uh, which was just really fun. Uh, Jim Carrey, who was Dr. Robotnik, very, very 90s performance of Jim Carrey, which I think really suited the part. Uh, James Marston was in it as the kind of mostly level headed sort of sheriff. Um, he was pretty good as well. Overall, I mean, it's. It's fun. There's a. Um, I would say it's probably the best film adapted from a video game, but that's not really saying much. But at the end of the day, it's it does exactly what it says. It's not trying to be something it, it, it that it's not. It's it does appeal to both. I think child like a child friendly audience that may not have um, have played a lot of Sonic games, and I think it also caters for the. For the people, I want to say, like myself, who grew up playing the Sonic games, I found it really fun. There was quite a few Easter eggs in it. I'm sure there was more than I actually understood because I didn't play all of the Sonic games. And But I thought it was really, really fun. But there's one big, big thing I think we should really talk about, and that is the huge change in the CGI. So when it was obviously first announced and they released that first trailer, there was a little bit of blowback as to how Sonic looked. I thought it looked a little bit off, but I thought, you know what, uh, I'm probably not going to see it anyway, so it doesn't really bother me that much. There was a big, big f fan petition, fan blowback saying, how could you do this? You're ruining I think that went a little bit too far. But uh, the company, the production company and the, the artist, everyone working this film really listened to the outcry and they changed the appearance. And what they changed it to was something a little bit more traditional, and and it works. Um, unfortunately in the film, because of that change, there are some elements of Sonic that don't look as good as it, as it probably would have done, um, because it, obviously they went back to redo it. Um, but at the end of the day, I really do think that for all of those people that did complain, I think they really should go out and support this film. I really, really do have so much respect for all of these people that that were working on the film, that heard this this sort of the fan outcry and then did something about it. So because of that, I really hope it, it not only makes its money back, but gets a profit. And I, I really hope that Hollywood as a whole learns from this. There's so often in Hollywood that we get from all kinds of films where we just get the sense that the, the creators and the directors and the writers just don't care about the fans, whether it be of the original comic series, the original games, or anything. and it's it's not something that they should really be doing. I understand that they might want to have their own take, but they also want to appease the fans of what was the original source material. So for something like this that really did try their best, I really do hope that people are going out there and supporting this. And if you do go out and support this, I really do think you're going to have a good time. For people that may be a little bit older than me that have want to take their kids and didn't play the Sonic games, it's probably going to be a forgettable film. For people like me that maybe have kids and are going, or that the kids want to go and see it and we've played the games growing up, I think both both sides of the family, the kids and the grown-ups, are going to have a good time with this. Uh, and for the kids, I, I think there's enough for the kids to keep to keep them occupied. Overall, really, really enjoyable film. I really hope they get a sequel out of this, actually. I was I really, really thoroughly enjoyed this. And guys, I, I literally cannot say any more other than really go see this. Jim Carrey's fantastic as Robotnik. Incredibly 90s performance. Ben Schwartz as a uh, Sonic, just amazing. And the overall film, like I said, it's does what it says it, it, it is. It's not trying to be something 
different. It's not trying to be something that's not really enjoyable. Guys, definitely go and see it. Um, if you have already seen it, let me know what you think. If you're not gonna, go, if you haven't seen it, let me know if you are gonna go and see it. Um, but as always, I look forward to hearing from all, from all of you guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.